let's get cracking. This morning we're tiling a hallway, it's about 10 square metres. We're going into main hallway, into the downstairs closet room. We've got a little closet room just to the side. We've got a large format porcelain wood plank tile. It's supposed to imitate wood, but very, very hard wearing porcelain. We're going to be using a rapid set S1 class adhesive made by Ultra, and we're going to be finishing it off in a light grey uh, flexible grout. Why flexible? Because it's porcelain. We're going onto a concrete floor. We've already primed it with acrylic and we've dropped in a nice straight line using a chalk line. I've put down an aluminium straight edge just to make sure that I keep it straight. I've already made a division. As you can see over here, this is the center of the room from the length. I'm just gonna offer up one tile straight onto my line and onto my central division. Keep it straight against my straight edge. Check where I am. Spot on. I'm going to put the next tile along. Not a lot of room to work with. I'm just allowing for a three mil spacer. We're using 3mm, we're going to keep it all uniform. Every single space in there is going to be 3mm. Make sure that your cut edge is not adjoining the tile that you've already set. Pop in your 3mm spacer. Grab another. Again, spot on. If you might notice, if you can zoom in there, We've left a slight gap. There's a good reason for it. We've got two different types of material going on. We've got a porcelain hard tile. We've got a soft aluminium threshold. So we need to leave a gap for movement. We're gonna fill that up with grout anyway, but if we don't leave that gap, all that's gonna happen is it's gonna crack and the tile will come loose. That we can't afford to happen, okay? So we're gonna move on to the next tile. We've already discovered that there are 1200 mil tile, so we've got to divide that into three. So, a bit of old maths, four, eight, 12, 400 mil. Now, rather than making a permanent mark on the top of the tile, I'm just gonna put it to the side. This is gonna give us this 33%. So it's every 400 mil, the tile is gonna have a step to it. The overall finished pattern, it's going to look like it's got a diamond running through the actual pattern. Offer this up to his dot that we've just put in. Three mil spacer again. And that is going to be our finished effect. We've got another cut ready to go. So I'll pop my spacer in. And following the line of the previous tile, I'm just gonna make a little mark. Back to the cutter. 